Well, I'm replacing a horizontal stabilizer tip. Got damaged during the winter sometimes. Somebody ran into it or something. These are the uh, new ones. They come from McFarland. Pretty nice looking. They seem to fit pretty well. You can see I drilled out my uh, elevator tip here. I'm not the first person to be in here. You can kind of tell. And also a couple different size rivets here. Must have been repaired somewhere down the road. Um, I'm going to install nut plates and 832 screws down here. So the holes will open up and I'll put some nut plates in there. So that's, that's the yellow horizontal stabilizer tip I'm doing. The next trick is I, this little rib on the end was kind of beat up. So I put these little rivets in here, little flush rivets, just to hold the rib in place and tighten the two skins together. As I go through, I'll drill these out and put nut plates in. But also you have to now find your screws holes or where your old rivet holes were. So I put this piece of tape on I found um, where the hole is. And then I use this to come over the top and find my holes. This also will tell me where the holes are. One of the things I want to do is make sure that this line here matches the line of my tip and also because i'm putting screws in i got to make sure that the edge clearance for my screws is going to be a work out okay i don't want it too close to the edge so yeah there we go so now i've laid out my holes these holes were in pretty good shape and they seem to be in a pretty good straight line so i just used my hole finder to find those Slip that in underneath and found those holes. Now here, this line of rivets was all kind of wonky and I want to make sure my screws are going to be straight and nice and even. So I do lines across, figure out where I want to be. Now these holes will be close to my original rivet holes, but probably not exactly the same. I'm going to try to get my nut plates to line up and that way my row of screws will be straight. You also want to watch this edge here. I'm also going to have to come back here and trim this edge off, watching out that I don't get too close to my screw edge. Also make sure you're straight there. So here I am putting in my nut plates. I got one, two, three, and this one on the end put in. And they're turning out pretty good. They seem to be in a pretty straight line. I got a line mark down there to keep me centered up between this hole and that hole. So should work out okay go across here there's a lot of little nut plates in here a little time consuming but uh that's what it takes well i've got it pretty close to being done i drilled my holes and i got my uh some of my screws in i still haven't trimmed this last trailing edge just kind of wait until the very end i got nice screws placement the screws are pretty well lined up which looks good still got to do my bottom holes here um, one thing that is funky is that you know because it's fiberglass when you screw your screw down you're going to get this little pooch between the screws which uh, maybe this material from McFarlane is a little bit thinner than this original material it feels like this can't be more than maybe three plies or something and this old one looks a lot thicker uh if i were to say anything i think they need a few more plies in this uh maybe make one out of carbon fiber or something but when you tighten the screws down you get a little pooch and i i hate that pooch but i'm not quite sure what i can do about it, it lines up pretty well um Lines up nice with the leading edge. Uh, so it's looking good, looking good. So here it is all done. I got the right hand done. I still got the left one to do, but you can tell it looks pretty good. The um, feels stiff out here, but it can only be a couple plies and it kind of gives it a, like a little wavy here. I wish it was stiffer. 
could use like a couple more plies in there I think to make it not so flimsy but here again it lines up pretty good down here this edge lines up pretty good I'm gonna have to round that out a little bit more and um, it looks pretty good underneath too good edge distance from the screws all in all I think it's a, it's a pretty good replacement the only thing I don't like about it is that it's awful thin and it's, sometimes it gets a little poochy so you're only as good as what your rib is flat here but uh, it looks pretty good if you bonk it again I guess you can take it off and just drill one out and put a new one in it's easier than having to uh, reach in this hole and rivet it up I guess so anyway that's uh, horizontal tip replacement using screws instead of rivets hope you enjoyed it thank you see one of the things you also might find out is sometimes with these older aircraft you line the elevator tip up with one side and you look at it, it looks pretty good but when you come to the other side it's not equal and uh, somewhere down the road you know it probably got repaired or something or maybe a uh, elevator got replaced or something like that so you know one thing you want to do is make sure that when the elevator is neutral that it lines up with the tip but then you got to determine what is neutral I guess so anyway I've seen that before and something to keep in mind as you can tell here I put the small rivets in right here and here and here to kind of hold the rib in place well I got it all done it looks pretty good you can see I got the screws in and it is a time-consuming little project um, it does take a few hours to do and you want to make sure the screws are all lined up which they look pretty good the one thing I I don't like is that this edge here gets kind of wavy it's kind of pooched up here and you're kind of dealing with this old rib it's not necessarily flat it's got some little pox but and then this edge kind of has a little bit of a whoop de doo and if maybe if they put a few more plies on the elevator horizontal tip you know that piece maybe it'd make it a little bit stiffer I don't know but it looks pretty good I think it's a pretty good mod I guess you know if you break another one you can always put on a new one another 40 years somebody else runs into it but uh, there it goes looks pretty good